really need to try and understand um, the, the origins of the universe because it tells us a little bit about where we came from. But even more importantly than that, it allows us to sort of do an, a, an accounting budget of the universe. So all of these components, all of these measurements tell us what the universe is made of. And that's really important because if we know what it's made of, that gives us an indication of how it's going to evolve with time and also then how the universe is going to end. I spend my time um, analyzing data from various telescopes. So the one that I'm working on at the moment is called the Atacama Cosmology Telescope. And the way it works is I look at light that has been coming towards us for 13 billion years. So it's left what we call the surface of last scattering. That's about 370,000 years after the Big Bang. What's amazing about that is this radiation has been traveling towards us and carries with it imprints about the initial conditions of the universe, what it was like, and how we can measure how that has changed and how we see what uh, the universe is like today. What's incredible is that this radiation is only about three degrees above absolute zero. So if we lived very far in the future, we wouldn't even see the radiation. But we're lucky enough to get a glimpse of what the universe was like at its origins by looking at radiation on the sky today. In cosmology, our past is quite intricately linked with our future. Um, and so we used to have an, an understanding of the future of the universe that made sense to us from what we know about gravity. So you can imagine if you throw a ball in the air, it will drop down to the ground. And that's what we imagined the universe to do. It would have this expanding phase, and then the expansion would kind of turn around and the universe would collapse on itself, because that's what gravity does. But now we have a picture of the universe, which is actually that not only is it continuing to expand, but it's expanding at an accelerating rate. And so now our understanding of the universe is that everything is going to expand away from everything else. So rather than us colliding with everything and the universe squashing, it's going to really expand apart and, and cool down. So the universe will end in what we call the heat death, which is, it's a little bit sad uh, to think that the universe will kind of whimper out and just sort of go out with a, with a whimper, not a, not a bang. We may be on a, on a path cosmically, which is defined, um, and, and even, even then we get a lot of surprises along the way. But what I think is amazing is that as, as humans, our vision of the future is one where we slowly unravel these mysteries of the universe. And so as we do this, as we ask questions and as we try to understand the universe, we learn more about our unique place in it. We happen to live at a time when we can still see galaxies. Uh, as I mentioned, the universe is expanding, and so eventually all the galaxies will be too far apart, really, to see. But we live at a time where we see the galaxies, and yet um, we can still ask questions about them. So the more I learn about the universe and its future, the more I think about our unique place in it and how we're ideally positioned to try and understand it, which to me is, is great for humanity. Personally, I don't think it's a matter of if we find life on other planets. I think it's a matter of when we find life on other planets. But of course, it's, it's important as to what you define as life. So many people think that life is someone I can talk to. Um, I would be happy with um, just an organism or in fact the, the signs of life. So for example, if I found water in an atmosphere, that would be a great sign. Um, so I definitely think there's, there's life um, on other worlds and I'm really excited as to what it does to our worldview to know that there are, is life elsewhere in the universe because we'll go through some changes as, as a human race, um, which I'm excited about, and we'll get to learn about what makes life special here because I do think we, we live in this incredible environment. If you think of how easy it is to be too hot or too cold or um, in, in an area that's un inhospitable, but we have this amazing diversity of life. So I'm actually excited to see what other planets have to offer.